My name is Logan Knight. I was a rescue swimmer in the United States Navy, San Diego, uh, Coronado, California. I've always written comic books, short stories, poetry. When I found the opportunity that the Writers Guild was doing a veterans workshop, I jumped at the chance. When I got that acceptance letter to be a part of it, it was really exciting. My name's Yvonne Fleming. I was in the Army. I was a mechanic and also an officer. I've had this dream of writing and I've sort of been a closet writer. When I saw this, I said I had to get in it. I'm Robert Kugler. I was a Staff Sergeant in the United States Marine Corps Reserve, deployed to Iraq. It was in December of 2007. Uh, while I was there, my brother was also there, and he was killed uh, by a roadside bomb. And I have been wanting to write about that experience. Part of the Foundation's mission is to serve the community of writers and for writers to serve the community. And one of the ways we serve the community is through the Veterans Writing Program. This is a program that uh, starts off with a weekend in April each year and then we follow up with uh, monthly workshops for a year. And about 160 vets have gone through the program so far and we hope very much to continue the program. We mostly have veterans from recent wars who've served overseas. We also have a sprinkling of vets from previous wars, including Vietnam. They need to feel like people care and that people are listening. And that's what our program really does. I became more and more comfortable to the degree that I found myself telling things about my experiences in combat that I had told only my wife. Because it's so personal and small, we can really reach people where they are. And there'll be like, let's say, four or five vets in a group and two mentors where they help people understand how to get started, how you structure a scene, how you start to develop a character. It has to be kind of a loose combination of exercises and conversation. It's really not about, like, I just learned how to write better. When we go around the circle and all the vets read what they just wrote, you know, we're all listening, and we're all listening to each other and honoring each other's experience. They consume TV and they watch movies, and the idea that they could do that is so foreign to them. The fact that they came to this weekend is a kind of a testing of maybe kind of I might have something to say. I thought I could write before, and, you know, I thought I could a little. And they're shocked that, really, I do have something to say. I can do this and the feedback that I got was incredible. That aha moment that this might be possible is such a great thing to see. I have some work to do, but I feel very confident. About this story that I've wanted to tell um, about my experience and, and the experience of losing my brother, I haven't been really sure whether or not that it's worth reading, and this weekend really uh, confirmed that, that uh, I was really uh, supported by my mentors saying that uh, it's definitely something that should be written about, so. Soldiers and Marines have a very good skill to compartmentalize their emotions. Without them knowing it, it gets unlocked in an exercise and all of a sudden memories come back and feelings come back. And we as mentors have learned how to be aware of those moments when they happen and to be able to facilitate those moments. You just need to go deeper into yourself and, and pull out those things that maybe you don't want to go to necessarily and you bring them out. I had a couple of moments where I basically broke down and, uh, and she was there and it was very helpful. Vietnam vets don't trust too many people and uh, I trusted them. I think I can serve as a good example for these guys, showing them that it is possible. I know that when I got out of the military, it seemed impossible. In some small sliver of a way for me to get back to them in a way that both honors their service and excites them, it's, uh, it's a gift. You know, it comes together in this beautiful uh, synchronicity. We're all writers. We want to connect with each other and express something and communicate. So it's really a weekend of intense communication and positive energy. There's so, I was saying to Mark, to the guys in our group, there's so many incredible writers here. Their writing is, is just tremendous. 
in my opinion, better than a lot of the stuff that's on television. <laughs> <laughs> so much better and from the heart. I'm doing this because this makes me feel good. This is a place that gives me some solace, comfort. This is an outlet for me. In two days, I've learned now how to celebrate what I've accomplished in the life that I've lived. And now, with the help of my mentors, hey, it's it's unbelievable what I can phantom now. So thank you all for this opportunity. The way you support the troops is with a check. And the way we support the troops is with our time and our talent. Uh, and we need all three pieces. Um, and what we do begins with what you do. Any artistic endeavor is a matter of, of momentum. It feels like I can go out and write something now. That's the biggest thing, just, just write.